Hi, welcome back to Point Blank and tonight we've been checking out more about the banned milk products from China. Our studio guest today is Concerned Mom, Selena Ang and our Razor TV team of Lin and Pokwan. Yeah. Before we continue our chat, I headed out to some supermarkets this morning uh, to check out if consumers' confidence in China-made dairy products have been affected. So let's take a look. I've checked to three supermarkets and looks like the items that have been recalled by AVA are no longer on their shelves. But let's hear from some consumers on how they feel about the entire saga over the tainted milk powder from China. Oh, that was terrible. Mm. That's terrible. Okay. Um, it just feels they're wiping out their nation. Okay. <laughs> and it's, for me, it's concerning, the poor little babies, you know. What was your reaction, you know, when news like this first broke out last week? Oh, I was horrified okay. that they were doing this to innocent children. Oh, no, it's shocking. I can't believe, like, they'd do that. And I even heard that the New Zealand company heard about it and told China and they did nothing about it, which is okay. shocking, you know. Um, I don't think it came as a very big surprise. I mean, um, it's not the first time that... Um, products from China are getting into trouble. Okay. Yeah, so it wasn't shocking, but I guess I was concerned as well because there have been several products being withdrawn from the shelves. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, are you a regular consumer of any of these products that have been taken off shelf? Uh, not really. I mean, I drink milk once in a while, but <laughs> not a hardcore milk <laughs> fan, so to speak. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I like the white rabbit candy, and I heard yeah. it's been yeah. withdrawn too. Uh, uh, Tanga, <laughs> <laughs> With all eyes on the widening contamination scandal, would consumer confidence in China made dairy products lower? Has it hurt your confidence in China made dairy products? Yes, definitely. <laughs> so, uh, would you avoid buying products from China? I think for a while, yes, I definitely okay. would. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, don't, I wouldn't put my family at risk. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, I think okay. definitely just worry about things that they produce <laughs> and what they put in your... Especially for babies, you yeah, know, you, right. yeah. you can never be too careful. Mm. So. Okay. so you'll just stick to the brands that you have purchased, yeah. so far the ones from Australia. Yeah, yeah. stay clear of China brands, I'm sure, <laughs> for, okay. for a long, long time. <laughs> so have you been avoiding products from China? Mm. Uh, quite some items like you know like the rabbit sweets okay. or these candies yes okay okay but uh, for other items you are fine yes uh, even if they are imported from China ah uh, yes uh, okay okay Okay. 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 
Team most of the time I don't really take notice of that. But now with the recent scandal, I mean I'm quite skeptical of the products that I buy also. But I'm quite puzzled also one thing. I mean the the media reported that Dutch lady milk products are a bit taken off the shelf, right? But I just noticed that it's still on the shelves. The, yeah, prob- I'm not so sure, but when I look at packaging, it's packaged from Malaysia. So I'm, I'm still skeptical whether the milk is imported from China as one of its ingredients. So right now, it's just that I don't even know what to buy off the shelves. Yeah, I just got to cut out my strict diet. <laughs> Some consumers also express great disappointment with the Chinese authorities. This sentiment is especially strong since the milk scandal was made public not long after the highly lauded Beijing Olympics concluded. I think it's very unfortunate that this has to come out right after the Olympics when China's trying to show the world that, hey, we can do things well. But yeah, um, it's the upteen time that such a scandal has occurred. So I think they really need to do something about the food standards. Come yeah, uh, it's actually quite sad that uh, the scandal broke out, you know, after the Beijing Olympic has just yeah. concluded and everybody is feeling, you know, pretty optimistic yeah. about uh, the China outlook because of the successful conclusion of this event. Yeah. And I'm sure a lot of uh, people, um, especially uh, older folks who still have like a sense of connection to China would be feeling really sad, you know, mm-hmm. when news like that broke out mm-hmm. in the media. Are you surprised at the reactions? Mm-hmm. Um, no, because I think everybody has been so proud of China mm-hmm. for delivering what they, they promised for the Olympics mm-hmm. and all that. And now with this, it's, and it's just right after the Olympics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. were you surprised? Did that thought actually cross your mind at all? Like the Olympics was so great and now this thing has happened? Yes, yes, it mm-hmm. did. It did. Okay. It's like, um, yeah. where, where is China actually heading? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. You want to prove so much to the world, yeah. but in the end, mm-hmm. internally... Yeah. Everything is in a mess. Yeah, okay. It's such a shame yeah. because they really pulled off the Olympics very well. And you know, everyone was saying, oh, China did this really well. Yes, and yes. everyone was looking at China in a really mm-hmm. good light. And now, you know, it's back to like, oh, China. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, there are some web comments that actually say, you know, uh, if the Olympics is responsible for this scandal, mm-hmm. because uh, it wasn't only like from last week that uh, people have uh, have been aware that melamine is found in some milk products has been diagnosed like many many weeks ago mm-hmm. but is it because uh, of the Olympics and China government as you know they are always it's very fearful of right? bad publicity mm-hmm. at this time and that's why they have put these things you know under mm-hmm. like an off limit like some, somewhat like an OB markers kind of thing mm-hmm. and they couldn't be reported in the media and causes okay. a delay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, well, you know, you've heard from our consumers. So what about shop owners? How are businesses that need to use milk and dairy products, you know, how are they coping? Well, let's take a look. This is actually one of my favourite drinks of all times. But given the recent milk scare, I just need to be sure that it doesn't actually contain what could potentially be a lethal concoction. 那你们的牛奶是从哪里来的？我们的牛奶是从澳大利亚跟纽西兰来的。啊，then我的supplier他说他们会给我们一张letter，that Creamer, yeah. Creamer, 
，那是泰国来的。呃，它的 product 是泰国吧？它本来啊 ，cream 全部是 Australia 跟 New Zealand。会不会很像呃，生意被影响到还是什么？不会，我们的生意还是照常。为什么呢？呃，因为我们在这边开了差不多三年，嗯、我们的顾客都很相信我们，给的奶粉都不是好像中国来的啊,啊。这几天还没有人，还有没有我的 regular 来问我们说啊,啊、okay ，所以只是。他们有一两位会问我们中啊，我们的奶粉是哪里来的啦？因为我们有检查过，嗯，都是从马来西亚进口的。马来西亚、啊、对，没有中国货。那、okay. 嗯、最近的生意很有没有像被影响到还是什么？呃，我感觉到我没有，我是没有影响到啊。嗯，呃，不过有蛮多顾客啦，都会向我询问说，你们的牛奶会呃是中国的吗？会，啊啊他们害怕。会怕啦，害怕，对，害害怕都会呃向我询问啦、啊，因为他们是抱着怀疑的态度啦，因为他们也是懂这些产品，呃，并不是只是中国有入口新加坡，这样我就有向他解释说，我们的货都是从马来西亚进口的，有些是澳洲的。啊，或者纽西兰这样啊，乳这些乳制品啊，乳制品都是从澳洲、马来西亚进口的，呃，或者是说这些饼干类这样，啊，哦，你也有用到饼干的、啊啊，这个饼干，欧洲饼干，哦，有是从哪里来的？哪一个国家来的来？呃，这个也是马来西亚进口的。你自己有去检查啊？啊对，我们都需要检查一下，就是保确保我们这些产品从哪一个国家进口的。如果是中国的，我们就会把它给就是暂时退掉，还是怎么样 ？You're not concerned that. They might have used like milk powder from China or anything like that. Because I only take in small amount. <laughs> okay, small amount. So small amount don't affect you, you think? A little, a little. A little. Because Chinese milk powder is very small, very small. The percentage. Okay. Chocolate. These. Ah, chocolate. 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 
uh, what first toys, now dairy products, what's next? So oh, we can't predict. Chairs. <laughs> chairs. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. just a uh, case. Uh, um, in France, the actually, and they had like uh -huh. um, China-made chairs, mm -hmm. which are actually given giving people like rashes. So mm -hmm. maybe chairs on yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, and James also said the world should make it a point not to import any China-made products to force them to have more quality control over the output, especially edible products. Don't they know that they are killing people here at the <laughs> expense of making some bucks? Is it worth their conscience? Yeah, yeah. it's a good comment. I, I don't mm. know whether it's worth it. Probably but they don't see the long term. It's a term. bit extreme. Yeah. If we don't think. import any China products, we might be in trouble. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. China Could manufactures be. a lot They're of things. They're all over. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And we're relying like so much rash. on imports. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've been buying stuff. <laughs> Have you been checking yeah, your label? Yeah, from shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because mm -hmm. it's really good value if you look at the yeah. price tags. Uh, you just don't know how safe they are for consumption. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But for me, sometimes it um, goes beyond the value. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that, of course, it's, you do see that oh, it's it's cheap and all that. Mm -hmm. But then it, I start to worry. Yeah. Why is it so cheap? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it puts me off from buying mm -hmm. the super super cheap okay. stuff that you find outside. Okay. Yeah. But would you guys start asking pe asking store mm -hmm. owners where the stuff is from? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll probably ask, but I don't know whether the answers are honest. So it wouldn't help a lot, you know, it's just mm. for like a form of reassurance, like at least I've asked. <laughs> no, yeah. I'll definitely check like labels, you know, like oh. stuff that I buy now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably just read and rely on my own mm -hmm. understanding of what is on the label. Okay. Yeah. So what would you do if you were to encounter a salesperson who says, um, oh actually I don't know whether this particular ingredient is from China, would you still buy it? If say it's made in the US, but then if you're worried about certain ingredients and they say that well it's made in the US but I don't know where the ingredients came from. Do you think education is going to help? I mean training for the frontline service staff, do you think that will make a difference mm -hmm. at all? Um, I, I think at the short term it doesn't. Mm -hmm. it, it probably people will say okay since you don't know that I might as well just stay away from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, But I, I guess as we move along mm -hmm. um, people are forgetful. Yeah, I, I choose to believe that after a mm -hmm. while um, you tend to not be so cautious about it mm -hmm. yeah, because there's less reporting mm -hmm. that's going around. Okay, yeah. so the key is to stay vigilant at yeah. all yes. times and mm -hmm. always tune into the media mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want any yeah, first-hand reports. Yeah, watch right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so mm -hmm. thanks a lot, uh, Selina, for joining us uh, in our living room today. Yep. yep. And if you have more comments, keep those coming in. And right now, we'll have to say goodbye to you. Okay, <laughs> yeah. good okay. night. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. Bye. The news is coming up next, so stay on.